How's it going guys? This is John McLennan and I'm here with GuitarControl.com bringing you this video lesson. 251, it's one of the most common chord progressions in jazz. And uh, what I'm going to do is show you two great stock voicings that you have to know uh, in two different positions on the guitar for the same thing. So here's the first chord, D minor 7, 5, 7, 5, 6 which is just like your bar chord, your minor bar chord, but you just take your pinky off to make it a seventh. G7, which is almost like that same shape, but I've just dropped it a string lower. So this would be three, five, three, uh, four, three. And then I resolve to the C major seven here, which would be three, five, four, five. So. Just great way of playing that, D minor 7, G7, seven, C major 7. Remember, in the jazz idiom, you know, we'll rarely play, you know, voicings like this, you know, just straight D minor, G, C, you know, because it's, the sound is going to be something more like this, 7th chords, you know, so everything has a, a deeper harmonic sense, you know, stuff like that. So. Uh, let's go to the next position now. So we've got 10, 10, 10, 10 for our D minor 7. Here's the root. Again, it's a, a variation to this. Here's your G7, uh, which would be 10, 9, 10, 8, and then resolving to C major 7, 8, 9, 9, 8. So here we go. Same as... But depending upon where you are on the guitar positionally, you know, you want to go to a to a close voicing. So you gotta know at least these two. Okay, so click the link below and practice those, move them around. The great thing about these jazz voicings is there's no open strings, so you know. You can play it on any any fret. So Learn those, click the link below, we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching.